In the world of fast-paced real estate, one dynamic duo is changing the rules. Meet former competitive freestyle skier and 2006 Olympic hopeful, Damon Bouchai, and one of free skiing's most recognizable names, Teton Gravity Research and Warren Miller film star, Dash Long. Damon is a master negotiator. He's really driven. He's great with our clients and he loves what he does. They're stepping up on price, so they're coming up to 3.5. They still want their closing date, but uh, I, I think if we can make that closing day work, we have, a, we have a deal. Dash is creative, he's approachable, he's fun, and he always thinks outside of the box. What we do is all about the experience. We want to create something that our clients can pass on to their friends and family and replicate time and time again. We here at Winnemar Real Estate like to do things a little bit differently. Skiing is a huge passion of mine. It's what brought me to Utah. Um, and I really worked hard to try to figure out how to combine the two, skiing and real estate. And so our favorite thing to do in sell homes is to actually have our clients experience the thrill of skiing right to their property and figuring out where they want to be on the mountainside. Dash knows Amy really well. Uh, he's picked out three properties. We're going to sit down, strategize on what the best runs are to get her there and what is going to be the most fun route for her to ski. Amy's flight landed and she's on her way up. She should be here any minute. Um, I've got all of her showing set up for the day. We're going to start at Juniper Landing and then we'll head up, have some lunch on the hill, and then we're going to come back down here to Silver Star, show 4102 and then we'll head up to Sidford 65 Silver Strike at the end of the day. Okay, cool. So we're gonna be able to ski all the runs that are that she's gonna like yeah. on the way. Yeah, exactly. She'll get a taste for what each one's close to in the part of the mountain that's gonna feel like home to her. So let's see how quickly we can get her from the airport onto the hill and into one of these houses. Love it. And uh, Amy's walking up right now, so we should probably suit up and get her on the hill. Hey, Amy. Amy. How's it going? Amy is coming into town from California. She's a diehard skier. She spends a lot of time in Lake Tahoe, but she wants to be spending a lot more time in Park City. She is here for 36 hours just to buy a piece of property, and her minimum bedroom bath count is two bed, two bath. So we're going to start with condos, but the important thing here is that she has mentioned that she's pretty open-ended on budget, um, and I think she's really gonna like the stuff in the higher price point better. We're gonna give her a quick tour of the office, go over the plan for the day, and then head over to Silver Star Ski and Sports and get her some demos to go out and ski to the property. Today, our route's gonna be go up Silver Star, up to King Kong, over to Quicksilver, and then ski over to the Canyons Village. Sweet, awesome. I haven't rode the new gondola yet, so that'll be fun. It's pretty, it's pretty neat. You get some great views. Yeah. But that first two bedroom condo you wanted to see is over here, so nice. we'll, we'll head over there first. Cool. Yeah. And the whole idea here is that you get to see the property, how you actually are going to be accessing mm -hmm. it throughout the winter. I mean, you're a big time skier, that's why you want a property here. So we want to make sure that the property you actually end up with is the right fit and the right location. And um, I mean, really, there's a lot of great attributes to all these things. So it's just going to be about, you know, I think it's going to come down to the skiing and <laughs> what trails and what are your favorite zones. Yeah, for sure. And I know we're going to see stuff in Park City, but I'm also interested in checking out Alta as well. You are? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Um, I think I've got a property in mind for you then. Nice. Right, so let's boot up, go next door, and grab you some demo skis. Sweet, sounds good.
Hey, Tom. Hey, Damon. How you doing, buddy? Good. Good to see you. You too, man. Oh, hey, Dash. Bud. What's going on, bud? How are you? Doing good, man. Um, right we are uh, going to go see some properties with Amy Hi. today. Hey, Amy Todd. Nice, nice to meet you. Meet you. She's in town from California, and uh, she's a ripping skier. I think we're mostly going to be skiing groomers, but a little off piece. So. Okay. Yeah, I was thinking it's like something 100 underfoot, maybe 95 underfoot. Cool, cool. Yeah, I think I got the perfect thing for you. Cool, thanks. Yeah, it shouldn't be too crazy, but yeah, there's a couple soft. little ins, ins and outs coming into some of the houses. So. Good. Got this K2 for you. I think it'll be awesome. perfect Sweet. for you. Mind bender. Love it. Ooh. Thank you. Let's get you set up. Academy Mortgage offers the resources of one of the largest independent mortgage lenders. Yet every part of your loan experience happens at your local office. Local service, timely, hassle-free closings with no surprises. Contact Pete Jacob for all your lending needs. tell you that a Windermere agent drove for hours, rented a boat to cross a lake, then hiked to the Canadian border just so her client wouldn't miss out on a really good offer for their home. I mean, if we did, wouldn't everyone expect that kind of service? Windermere, we're all in for you. The first property that we're gonna visit is uh, over in Juniper Landing at the base of the canyons. It's located on the canyons golf course and also just a quick walk from the base of the Frostwood Gondola. It is a two bed, two and a half bath, almost 1600 square feet. It's got a two car attached garage. Welcome to the first property. This one is a two bedroom. Um, it's a close proximity to the scheme not quite ski and ski out, but a very short walk. Yeah, no, it was a really easy walk over here and I love the mudroom, so. Yeah, well, let's go take a look inside. Cool. This one's unique in the finishes and the upgrades. Um, what I think Amy will really like is that it is a lot more modern in style uh, and a really great privacy views and, and lighting aspects. So let's take her through and see what she thinks. I like the feel, it feels spacious. It is, it is. And this one's really upgraded. So you'll find that there's a lot of finishes. There's gonna be a lot of upgrades to lighting systems, to uh, the blind systems, to the audio video control systems, um, and as well as really nice artwork throughout the home. And I like the open floor plan. It's good for like entertaining, having people over. Right, and then you get a lot of light too with this specific unit because it, it's a gap between. Right, there's a good view. Homes. Yeah. Yeah, nice, let's see upstairs. Okay, let's go. Cool. Here we'll have the master bedroom. Oh nice, great views in here too. Has a fireplace, great views out over the, overlooking the pool. Although it's, it's a two bedroom condo, it's decked out like a house. You have a gigantic yeah. soaking tub. I love the bathroom, love the tub. And you have a view from the bathtub, that's nice. Yeah, and a walk-in shower. And still really high ceilings up here. Ooh. So again, in this room, they added an accent wall, which I, I think like goes it. really well. This is a really nice place to be able to put your guests yeah. with an ensuite and also a walk-in closet. I might be looking for something bigger, but I do like how this for, for two bedroom feels really luxurious, but um, you know, I could be interested in seeing something with more bedrooms. Cool, well this isn't the only option today, yeah. so let's take a look at the other ones, but try to remember some of the things that you really liked about this one, yeah. so we can compare at the end of the day. Absolutely, no, I, I really like the finish work on this. I love the location, the amenities are great, um, and I think the overall vibe of the space, I'm really impressed for a two bedroom. Excited to see what's next. All right. I could tell that Amy really liked this property. 
Um, I think it fit her style, her needs, and she really liked the modern touches. But as we keep going here, I think she's really gonna like some of the amenities at the other properties and the locations and where they are on the hill. back here at Silver Star to show you, Amy, a true ski and ski out condo. This one's three bedrooms, four baths, about 2,000 square feet, and priced just under 1.7. What's unique about this property is that you don't have to take your skis anywhere, you don't have to walk anywhere, you're right at the lift. And I think what she's really gonna like is the main floor living and the aspect of being true ski and ski out. This one is more of a mountain town feel. It's got the classic mountain feeling. Um, it's a really cool unit and it's bottom floor. And so you have this really rad wraparound porch with the hot tub on the far end. Nice, I love the beams. Yeah, so Silver Star was built in 2006 to 2008 and they're a, a style that stays in trend. Um, really well built and one of the unique features about this property is that it only shares a ceiling. So there's no other common walls with another unit. Oh, nice. Um, to the right here we have the master bedroom. It's a great size room with a king size bed. What's really nice is this one comes as you see it. So everything that is in the unit is included. Cool, so it comes fully furnished. Correct. They use it right now for short term rentals um, and as a secondary home. Okay. Okay, so a really nice open living room and dining room kitchen. This one's a little unique. The owner really likes that it has more countertop space and the way that it's laid out uh, gives them a little bit more use of the space. Yeah, I like the feel of this place. It's, it's got that mountain vibe, some woodsiness, but still modern, clean lines. Good space. Yeah, it's a great place, and really the, the positives to this is Silver Star itself. Mm -hmm. um, it's tucked away from the beaten path, yet it's close to everything. The ski access is uh, bar none. Yeah. You get your own private lift, basically, and there's an on-site cafe. So keep that in mind, and let's gear up and head to the next property. Nice, let's take some more runs on the way. All right, I'm excited. Okay. We're heading up to Deer Valley. Uh, this one we're heading to is a full-size house. It's four beds, six baths, three levels, and the ski access is impeccable. It's right off of Blue Bell, and you can just walk right over to Silver Strike Express. Wow. Yeah, so this one is a big jump in price and square footage. So it's, it's sold as is, fully furnished. Some artwork is excluded. Okay. It's very expensive, very custom artwork, but overall it's, pr it's pretty turnkey. So the kitchen has a wolf range, chef grade kitchen. Wow. You have your wolf double oven, your wine fridge, your built-in dishwasher, copper sink. Well, on this level, we also have a half bath powder room and then one of the bedrooms. And each one is kind of designed with its own cool accent wall. Oh wow, cool. This is fun. They all are really fun rooms. So the, the master with its own fireplace. Oh beautiful. Incredible views as well. Yeah, I love that there's a view in the master. And again, they went through and completely redid this with all new designer lighting, designer wallpaper. I love the vaulted ceilings up in the master too. So the downstairs is where all the fun seems to happen. You have a wet bar, with an nice. extremely comfy couch. Oh, look at this, great TV, fireplace. Game table. Beautiful, oh look at this accent wall, that's great, I love that. It's really fun. It's the first pop of color in the whole house, it really is nice. So I know Amy said that two bedrooms was her minimum, so this one is considerably larger than that, but I think this one will speak to her a lot better with the views, privacy, finishes, and would really be a multi-generational house for her. Yeah, this place is obviously a big step up, but I really like it. It is, but you're getting more square footage, better ski access, better views, and a little bit more updates. It feels more like a home too, you That's know? That's a good point. Yeah. So out of what we've seen today, how are you feeling and what seems to make the most sense? You know, they're all so different. I'd have to just, you know, think about it and, and go over things with you more. But I do love the feel of this place. I love the feel of the first place. I love the convenience of the place um, that we saw midday right by the office. Right, you mentioned that you liked Alta, though. 
Yeah, so I do love to ski, and I would be curious to see something at, you know, one of the resorts in Little Cottonwood Canyon. So Alta would be like my yeah, favorite like resort over there. Yeah. yeah, so I would be curious to see something over there. Good, well, I just got a call from our associate um, on our way over to this one, and it sounds like we're okay to show it tomorrow. Perfect, so we can maybe go ski Alta in the morning and yeah. then see the place you have in, up there? Exactly. It's true that a Windermere agent's client decided to experiment with power washing their deck a day before the house was supposed to go on the market. It's true that he may have accidentally destroyed said deck. Now you might wonder, how did that deck get torn out, replaced, and stained in one day? In time for the listing to go live the next morning? We'll never tell. We just wrapped our first day. Amy is really liking the properties that we've shown her, but she really wants to see Alta. We just got a call. We're gonna be able to show her a house over there tomorrow afternoon. So in the morning, I'm gonna meet Pete Jacob at Academy Mortgage, pick up some of her loan documents, and then we'll meet and ski in the afternoon and head to the property. So the property that we are uh, gonna be skiing today is on the far side of the resort. So we're gonna have to kind of traverse way out and then we're gonna ski some steep trees and maybe there'll be some powder. This house up at Alta is amazing. It's definitely in a different category from what we've seen uh, the previous day. This is kind of the, the best thing that's available up at Alta. It's on the bypass road, which overlooks Mount Superior and Hell's Gate. Beautiful views up and down Canyon. Um, and then on top of that, it's got a ton of features that are put into the house, inc including things like a, a lap pool and radiant heat in the floors. Um, so things that really take it kind of to the next level. The house was built in 2002. And th since then they've done quite a few upgrades. Um, and I'll get into those as we tour the house. Okay, great. Let's head upstairs and check out the second level. This is a really custom staircase. It is really cool. On this second level, we have a master wing on, on the uh, west side and on the east side, there's two spare bedrooms and a bar flex area that looks wow. like you could use as a yoga studio or a wet bar for entertainment. Walking through this home, I've noticed that Amy's really drawn to the views and the, the incredible skiing that Alta offers. Let's see how she feels about living here versus in Park City. Let's head into this dining area, which is on both sides, both the Snowbird 
and the Alta trail maps. Etched glass with the lighting to exemplify the ski runs. It does sit on 0.62 acres as well, so you own quite a ways up onto the slope. So we're in the kitchen. It's all honed granite, all the same style. Uh, custom cabinetry with a Viking range uh, with a chef's hood. You can truly entertain here, you can cook here, it's cozy, you have an eat-in nook, you have a formal dining, but then you also have these expansive views. We just had an amazing couple days with Amy. We got to ski some world-class skiing and see some of Utah's best ski and ski out properties. And now the ball's in her court. So we started at the bottom end of your, your budget and you didn't really give us a cap. Right. So I wanted to make sure that we showed you a wide range of stuff. You did say your minimum need was two bedrooms, right. but now we're sitting in a five bedroom house. Um, and it seems like from what we've talked about, you're kind of between Deer Valley and this Alta property. Yeah, absolutely. Like after the past few days of the experience of how skiing can really integrate into your lifestyle out here in Utah, I could see making this more of a second home, less of a vacation home, which would mean I'd be comfortable investing in something with more bedrooms. Okay. Well, we've got your loan approved from Academy Mortgage. We just got it back from Pete Jacob and we can write up an offer. Are you ready to make a decision? You know what? I think I am. Great. I really like that we're able to create that experience for our clients that they're able to replicate with their friends and families when they come and visit. We believe that buying and selling real estate should be about the experience. It should be a fun, memorable experience that you can carry on for generations. How better than to visit these properties on skis?